much. Here is the Amsterdam native, Alistair Orvery. Born in England, the Reem made his pro debut at 19 years old. He's remained at an elite level for his entire career, has fought so many legends in this heavyweight division. Few can compete with the speed and the accuracy of the Reem on the feet. Big challenge in front of him here tonight, Chuck. Alistair Overeem is the most decorated heavyweight striker in the history of mixed martial arts. The former K-1 Grand Prix champion is the first fighter in the history of the sport to win titles in world-class kickboxing as well as mixed martial arts. champion, current UFC interim light heavyweight champion, John Bones Jones, never lost the belt inside the octagon. It was transgressions outside the octagon that resulted in him being stripped of the title. But when the lights go on, you can argue this is the most dominant and best champion the octagon has ever seen. John Jones has been incredibly successful against some of the very best fighters on the planet Earth. He is an immense talent. The veteran Ed Levine draws the assignment here. Dateline Las Vegas, Nevada. We are underway here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. All right, so here is the prolific heavyweight finisher, Alistair Overeem. We'll see how he chooses to attack here in the early going. One of the more accurate strikers in UFC history. It'll be no shock there if he's at his efficient best here in the early going. Overeem gets caught with that punch. Joe, your thoughts on what we might see here early? When you look at the way these two match up stylistically, look out for John Jones' knee strikes. They could play a big factor in this fight. Oh, tags him with the strike. Nice job there by Overeem. Yes. Trademark inside leg kick there by Jones. And Alistair tags him. Nice, very nicely done. Handed front kick there by the ring. Big punch. They're certainly getting after it early. These guys are going for it. Well, so he gets clipped once again here, Joe, and he continues to be vulnerable by leaning in. He's keeping his head on the center line. He's got to change things up a little bit here. Clean punch. 
that knee might have landed there. Oh, he has mastered the range here, timing his shots nicely. He's got the Muay Thai clinch. Knee the body by Jones. Good volume of knees here by Jones. John Jones has been on fire with these knee strikes. Here we're seeing over and over again, he's able to get that timing down and land this devastating strike. No doubt about it, Joe. Judges out of this one here tonight. He was focused on getting the win and getting it by submission. And you saw him in hot pursuit of it much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it. Then there was an opening there late, largely caused by a beautiful setup, and the submission comes late in the round. I love a stuff there. And one last time, excellent technique on that choke for the submission victory. So a so seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they match make him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Levin has put a stop to this contest at four minutes, 21 seconds of the very first round. For the winner by submission, So another big win for Johnny Bones Jones here tonight. He has every tool you could possibly want as a mixed martial artist, and he put most of them to very good use here tonight. Some people were picking against him. They felt like this matchup maybe wouldn't work for John Jones. John Jones proved yet again that if he is not the greatest mixed martial arts athlete we have ever seen, he is certainly in the conversation.